All right, so in the previous video, we looked at my Chuck Taylors, the old school Converse shoes, and kind of discussed how they're a really good option for deadlifting because they have a very flat sole. And I also mentioned I have three shoes uh, total that I use for different purposes in the gym throughout the week. Here are number two. Uh, these are Nike Freeze. I've had these for a very long time. I think probably uh, at least seven, eight, maybe nine years actually. And bought them early on when I was running a lot more and wanted to go for kind of a, uh, you know, a semi-barefoot uh, feel. And the time, I know they've had many iterations since then, uh, Nike that is, with a whole bunch of different uh, Nike free versions. And maybe it's something different today, I haven't even kept up on it. But back in the day, they had a couple different versions. And this was a, a 3.0, which I believe was kind of on the scale of being very minimalist in nature. And of course, that word is kind of subjective. Uh, if you look in here, and that's kind of the, the sole, insole kind of coming up. But on this one, a little better, uh, there's still very much of an arch. You can definitely feel it if you were to, to put your finger inside a shoe. But, you know, barefoot in the sense that there isn't a whole lot of heel support. This is really just a, a little piece of uh, fabric, no support there at all. And a very flexible uh, sole, which I loved. So a lot of good things for this shoe, primarily used it for running, and back in the day when I had some uh, imbalances on the right side, so here's the right shoe, this is really interesting, see how worn away this right one is on the, the toe there, and not so much on this guy. Now this is something that early on I wasn't really paying much attention to, one, how I ran and how I felt running, and secondly not really looking at my footwear that closely. Today, I'm a much different uh, man. I've paid much more attention to how I feel, not only when I'm doing something physically, but also objective feedback tools, kind of like your footwear. Um, so this tells a lot of stories. A uh, very old pair, pair of shoes, and relatively similar on the heel, which is good, although there is a little bit of a difference on that right side, because again, I had some issues where I was striking way too hard on the right foot and the right leg was kind of locked up for a number of reasons. Maybe we'll do a video on kind of that story. That's a whole different topic for a different day. But today, what do I use these for? In recent years, I've done even a couple of 14ers, a lot of um, uh, hiking in the mountains of Colorado using these shoes. And again, I wanted something very light. Uh, light and weight. This is just literally a couple ounces, I think, per shoe. Incredibly light shoes. It, it's really awesome to have that. And I also do not want a lot of support. And that's kind of a, a choice I made. I don't like to have a lot of support in general with my footwear. You may be different for a number of reasons. That's totally cool. But I started to do a lot of hiking. These have been the top of 14,000 foot peaks in Colorado. And they have been halfway down the uh, Grand Canyon in Arizona. Today, they're getting a little bit too slippery though, partly because of the uh, the wear and tear I illustrated a moment ago. I'll probably be looking for something different soon. So that means that on a, on a weekly, daily basis, I am using these just for my workouts in the gym when I'm doing upper body. I don't want these to be my deadlift shoes because they're not flat. I don't want them to be shoes that I squat in because they're not flat. And even when I do some uh, kind of pistols or kind of my uh, self-called uh, around the world, uh, pistol variation, any kind of you know unilateral uh, one leg balance work, I really feel the instability in these shoes because there is that kind of wonky arch support and there's different things going on because these are, first and foremost, I think most people would agree they are running shoes, they are not lifting shoes. But when I'm not doing leg stuff predominantly, I don't see a problem wearing these. Again, I kind of like to use my gear and, and run it into the ground, which uh, is clearly happening on these pairs. And you saw the Chuck Taylors. That's just kind of my thing. But in general, uh, it's good advice that if you are looking for a lifting shoe and you're going to do any kind of thing on your feet, um, you need to have something that is not really meant for running because you want that stability, you want that grounded sense. And usually that translates to a flat sole and not much uh, kind of what I would call like running shoe type things that are used to augment the spring in a step. Because when you're not doing that dynamic and kinematic uh, movement of running and you're doing something different in the gym, which could be kind of improvised, could be a little bit uh, more linear, it could be more repetitious, uh, you want a different shoe that's going to be much more basic. So this is 
the story on uh, these guys. And as, as I said, they're probably going to be phased out here in a couple months, to be honest. Uh, what I would look for in place of them is a very bare bones basic shoe. And I'm not quite sure what that will be just yet, but I do like uh, slipping shoes on and off really easily and kind of that uh, sneakers uh, look. I'm kind of eyeballing some K-Swiss options and Adidas that have that minimalist feel, but also have, you know, they're still a sneaker and will absorb a little bit of shock, uh, again, for the uh, kind of upper body type work just when I'm walking around or doing farmer carries, uh, that kind of thing. So that is shoe number two. Uh, next video, I think we'll just keep going and we'll do uh, the lifting shoes, number three. All right, thanks for your attention, everyone. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We have only a few videos I know on the channel uh, right now, but we will be doing quite a few more. I'm really gonna try hard to stick to one video every single day with something of value. So I hope this brought you some value. Let me know in the comments below. And what do you wanna hear for future posts? I read every comment. Thanks, guys.